In this fifth session, I will be demonstrating the AC sweep analysis using the Allegro P Spice simulator. In AC analysis, calculates the small signal response of a circuit to any number of user defined inputs. The small signal response is computed by treating the circuit as linear about its DC operating point. For AC analysis to be meaningful, there must be at least one voltage or current source on the circuit with an AC specification. So let us start the circuit construction first. I am going to build a very simple first order filter here. I will start by launching the capture CIS application. I am going to create a new project. Let the name be first order filter. Make sure the type of the project is PSPICE analog or mixed AD. I will change the location of the destination folder. Then I will press OK. I am going to create a blank project here. So select that then press OK. Right. We are now at the schematic window. So let us start by placing parts. I will go to place part icon here. I will start by adding a AC source. So search for VAC. Select VAC slash source. Let us place it here. You should note this source is particularly applicable for small signal AC analysis. Here let VAC be 1 and VDC be 0. So I will keep it as it is and let the name be as it is as V1. Now I am going to add a resistor in series with the source. So go to the part window, search for R, select R analog and place it here. Again let the values and name be as it is, I am not going to change it. And finally I am going to place a capacitor. So once again go to the part window, search for C analog, rotate it and place it here. Now the value of C let it be changed from 1 nano to 3 micro. Fine. So I will start the wiring. So enable wiring you can select this and connect the components quickly. Now in this circuit instead of connecting these two together by a wire and then placing a ground I am going to directly place the cap sim ground on these edges. This is also completely acceptable. Right with that the circuit is complete. We will now move on to construct a simulation profile. So go to the PSPICE menu, select new simulation profile, give a simulation profile name. I will call it as first order simulation create. Now in the simulation settings, you need to change the analysis type from time domain or transient to AC sweep slash noise. That is the first thing. Now you should note AC sweep is usually performed in logarithmic scale and the reason we select the logarithmic scale is to be able to draw the Bode plot which is basically output voltage divided by input voltage. So as you can see the sweep type is already selected as logarithmic and let this be in decade. Let the start frequency be 1 hertz and the end frequency be 10 kilohertz. I believe the 3 dB corner frequency is going to be around 100 hertz. We are going to verify that when we run the simulation. Now coming to the points per decade. The points per decade is basically the resolution which means that how many iterations we are going to carry over in one single decade. So you can select 100. You can, you can even select 1000 because the simulation is quite fast. So I will select 1000 here click apply, click ok. Now in the circuit what we will do is we will place some markers particularly voltage level marker at the output. So go to the voltage level marker, select it and place it across the capacitor edge. This basically means that we are going to measure the output voltage as the input frequency changes in a logarithmic scale. Note that the input voltage is kept constant always. Now by changing the frequency we will see that the voltage across the capacitor is going to drop 
because this circuit is a low pass filter. The low frequency content will create higher impedance across the capacitor and we will see a higher voltage across the capacitor. As the frequency increases, the impedance across the capacitor becomes smaller and therefore the voltage across the capacitor starts to decrease. So basically we are trying to find the variation in the output voltage as the frequency across the input changes. Hence this type of analysis is also called as frequency analysis. Now having constructed the circuit as well as the simulation profile, let us run the simulation. Now coming to the simulation output, the plot here shows the frequency response of the magnitude of the output voltage with a linear voltage axis. Of course, we generally prefer to use a Bode plot to display the magnitude information. There are in fact two ways to have the voltage expressed in decibels. The one obvious choice would be to go back to the circuit, remove the voltage level marker here and then go to P spice markers advanced dB magnitude of voltage. Select this and place it across the capacitor. Now let us rerun the simulation and now you will see the plot has now changed to a body plot. You should also notice the y axis has now changed from voltage to dB per decade. This is the first method of plotting the body plot. In another method, let me just remove the dB marker here and place the regular voltage level marker once again. Let me run the simulation because I want the amplitude response once again. Right here, it is possible to modify the label across the y axis. So you can simply double click on it. You will see modify trace window will appear. Here, what you are actually displaying is the voltage across the capacitor. Now I'll change it to dB by simply changing the trace expression as follows. dB, open the bracket, let the VC of 1 is to 2 be as it is, close the bracket, press OK and you will immediately see the plot has now changed to a border plot. Now here we note that the minus 3 dB line appears somewhere here because it is 0 and this is supposed to be minus 5. So minus 3 dB line appears here. So it is somewhere here. So when I draw a vertical line, it will be somewhat around 50 Hertz. So that will be the cutoff frequency of your filter. And at minus 20 dB, the frequency will be around 500 Hertz. And at minus 40, it will be around 5K. So in any case, uh, this is the frequency response of a first order filter. Now what we will do, we will also add the phase plot. So in order to do that, I will go to plot window, select add plot to window. In this window, add trace. Now here what do we want? We want the phase across the voltage of the capacitor. So you see in the right side, you have a large number of functions or macros. So if you just keep on searching, here you have P off. So this represents the phase. We want the phase of the voltage across the capacitor. So I will simply once again write the voltage across the capacitor as Vc1 is to 2. Right? When I press that, you will note that immediately we get the phase response of the first order filter as well. From the phase response, we can see that this again is a first order filter starting from 0 degrees, D stands for degrees here and it ends somewhere around minus 90 degrees and at 45 degrees, this is 50 degree and somewhere here is 45 degree and this is supposed to be minus here. When I draw a vertical line, this is once again going to meet the cutoff frequency of the filter which is around 50 hertz. So these plots are going to depict the border plot in both the dB as well as degrees. Now just like how we could plot the border plot using the advanced marker, you can do so for the phase plot as well. For example, I will come back here, I will remove the level marker, I will go to P-Spice, Markers, Advanced and I will select 
the db magnitude of voltage as i already had done previously while plotting the bode plot and once again go to p spice markers advanced markers now select the phase of voltage and once again place it on the same point so now we will be able to plot both the phase as well as the bode plot so let us run the simulation and see yes so as you can see we are looking this is the bode plot and this in fact is the phase response so yeah that is about the ac sweep analysis so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to extend the first order filter to a third order filter and i'll once again demonstrate by plotting the border plots so let us remove these markers here i'm going to simply extend no change in that i'm going to add two more resistors so go to place part search for r analog place two more resistors like this i need two more capacitors so once again go to place part search for c select c analog rotate it and place here now let us connect them by wiring so that is about the connection but i will change the values of the resistors and capacitors here so let the resistors be 2.2k and let the capacitors be 15 nano so i'll mark the now i'll place the markers once again so i'm going to go to p spice select markers select advanced select magnitude of voltage i'll place it across the last capacitor c3 very similarly i'm also going to add the phase marker here at the same point right now i'm going to edit the simulation profile because there is a third order filter and change the n frequency to 10 mega so when you write mega you have to write it as meg and let the points per decade be as it is no change in that apply okay let us run the simulation and now as you can see we have obtained the bode plot for the third order filter so i leave the calculations to you as to what is the cut off frequency and where is the 3 db line and all i'm not going to discuss them and finally before i end the session i would like to create the sal and key filter as well so i'm going to delete this or let me just create a new project there i'll run through the same i'm not going to give any commentary here
right so that is the border plot for the salon key filter and yeah with that i'll end this session on the ac sweep analysis if you like this video kindly like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching have a good day